Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Today I'm gonna try to unlock these two iPhones, the iPhone 11 and the iPhone XR. But please, watch this video from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the important tips that I'm gonna give you. Both iPhones are locked to AT&T. You're gonna go to settings, go to general, about, and here you can see carrier lock, SIM lock, carrier lock, SIM lock. This device might be restricted to the original carrier and or have certain capabilities limited. Contact your provider for more information. So when you have a carrier lock, SIM lock iPhone, what happened when you put a SIM card from another company? If I try to put a Mint Mobile SIM card, so looks what's gonna happen. Activation required. It may take a few minutes to activate the iPhone. Sometimes it does it again like that. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. This is where the iPhone contacts, and look at this, SIM not supported. SIM not supported. I'm gonna try again. SIM not supported. So let me take out the SIM card. And let's see what happened when we put the same SIM card on the iPhone XR. Mint Mobile on a lock iPhone XR. Let's see what happened. Activation require. It did it again, but not like before, but it says SIM not supported. Try again, SIM not supported. All right, so we are sure that these iPhones are locked, right? So let me try to unlock this iPhone 11 first. You need to copy the IMEI number. If you are in another country, guys, try to use a VPN. I recommend this free VPN. Again, we already have the IMEI number, right? General, about, IMEI number. You're gonna click and hold and you're gonna copy. Some people said that when they use the second IMEI, they are successful. If we fail, we're gonna try with the second one. But the second one usually is the eSIM. Something I like to do, guys, go to settings, look for Safari, Safari, and clear history and website data just in case you know clear history now we're going to open it again and we're going to search for at&t unlock okay the first result at&t.com device unlock and this is the website guys i'm going to put a link in the description a lot of people are telling me that at&t is asking them for money you're probably on another website in all my experiences with this uh portal they never ask me for a penny so make sure you are in the correct website okay click unlock your device here you're gonna click do you have a mobile number from at&t select no and here you're gonna click click and hold and paste all right, that's a good sign because sometimes when you paste the IMEI, immediately the portal is going to tell you that you cannot unlock the device. It's already recognizing the device as an Apple 11 82111. That's the model number. Click here. I read the legal info and then wait for the next button to be blue. Click on next. Oh, look at this. Bad news. We cannot unlock this device because the device is still under contract. Sign into your account to review your contract. To pay the early termination fee and unlock the device, call 800-331-0500 or dial 611 from your device. You can submit a new unlock request 24 hours after your payment post to your account. We cannot unlock this device. We have to wait or we need to contact that number, right? I will go back to this one later. So for this one, guys, we can still use other tools to unlock it like gv pro or sim there's a lot of uh, little sim cards that you put underneath or on top of the sim card to unlock it so we're gonna try that later now let's go to the iphone xr let's try to unlock this one same thing guys you're gonna copy the imei clear safari where's safari right there clear history and website data okay now you're gonna open safari you're gonna search for at&t unlock unlock your phone or device Click on unlock your device. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? No. IMEI number, click and paste. Okay, the portal recognized the phone as iPhone XR A1984. This is the model, right? A1984. Now click here, I read the legal info. Wait for the next button to be blue and click next. So it's allowing me to put my information. This is a good sign, guys. I'm gonna put my name. Mobile number, don't put anything. Email address, the most important part, put an email you have access to, okay? And then you're gonna type it again. Okay, and then click Submit. 
So thanks, we got your request. Now I'm gonna log into my Gmail account because I need to confirm that request. At 11.02 a.m., this is the email from AT&T. A lot of people say that they don't get this email, but you need to check on your spam folder, everything. But you should get this email. I mean, I don't know why not. And it says confirm your device unlock request within 24 hours. So you need to do it fast, guys. It says confirm your request. Click there. And then you should get a confirmation. Thanks for confirming. I'll click this tab so you can see both windows. Go back to your email and I want you to click check the status. And it says current status pending means that you already confirmed your request with AT&T and they are processing it. So what I like to do is I like to wait and I want to go back to my email and here I'm going to click this other link. Check the status. Okay. Check the status. Click there. And look at this beautiful thing. Current status approved. Current status approved. We approve your request to unlock your device. Here are the instructions to complete your unlock. Just use a SIM card from another carrier. Just put it there and that's it. If you don't have a SIM card from another carrier or you only have an AT&T SIM card, then you need to do a backup of the phone and then restore your phone from that backup. And that's it. That's all you need to do. You should also get an email about this unlock. I submitted my request at 11.02 a.m. It took a couple of minutes for the AT&T unlock portal to give me an answer and to approve my request. So you will get an email saying, heads up, we approve your unlock request. Go to settings, go to J general about it says carrier lock no sim restrictions so this change from carrier lock to no sim restrictions that means that you can use this iphone with any carrier that you want any carrier in the world there's no way that this iphone is gonna get locked again this is unlocked already forever this is the official website this is an unlock by the server so this is no tricky uh, software that once you do an upgrade or restart the phone it get lost no this is forever so let me try my min mobile sim card to test for the signal you saw what happened when i put it before i got the sim not supported right mint right there check this out guys mint mobile so open your phone app dial 611 and you're gonna get the mint fox That's it. That confirms that I do have signal. I don't have a plan with Mint Mobile, but I do have signal and I can use this device with any SIM card that I want. This was successful, the XR, and the 11 was not. Okay, a lot of people are asking me to try the second IMEI. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. Close this, go to Chrome or Safari, I mean, clear history, clear history and data. Go to settings, go to general, about, Instead of copying the first IMEI, I'm gonna copy the second one, okay? The one ending on 617. Type AT&T unlock. Okay, click unlock your device. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? No, IMEI number. We're gonna use the second one now. The one ending on 617. And it says Apple model iPhone 11. So that's good guys, it recognized the IMEI. Click here, click next amazing it works because it's allowing me to put my name before it did not so let me uh put my name really quick guys i'll be really grateful for that comment that told me that uh, i can unlock it some people said try to use a different email i'm gonna use the same email because i don't see why not unless you unlock like a hundred devices i don't think they're gonna blacklist your email only if you abuse it you know okay so so amigo alex4 at gmail okay Submit and it says thanks. We got your request. Log in to my Gmail and look at this, guys. At 11:11, 11, 11, I got the heads up. You got 24 hours to confirm your unlock request. Click there. You see, confirm your request. Click there. And now it says thanks for confirming. I want to go back to my email and then click the check the status link. Check the status. And it says pending. We send an email to confirm your unlock request. Please use the email link to confirm. But it says pending. That means that the AT&T unlock portal already accepted my unlock request. They are processing it. All right. So it's pending. Now go back to your email. You're going to check the status again. Oh, and look at this, guys. Current status denied current status deny we can unlock this device because this device is still under contract so we try 
the trick with the second IMEI. It didn't work, but I'm not done, guys. I'm going to keep trying, you know, once a week maybe until they approve it. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. We tried to unlock two iPhones, an iPhone 11 and an iPhone XR. You can see that the iPhone 11 is still SIM lock and the iPhone XR, it's now unlocked. And it says no SIM restrictions. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, guys. That's the best way you support my channel. So I can continue doing videos for you. And I'll see you in my next video, guys.